my media wasn't at the root of my body image issues. My media was affecting my body image issues. There's lots of studies out there to prove it. Hey, it's Heather Creekmore. You're listening to the Spring Break Free, a special series we're doing throughout April and into early May to help you break free from body image issues. I hope you've been following along. These are the episodes where I think this course gets really good. If you've missed anything this far, catch up and listen to these episodes. I think they're really going to help your body image freedom journey. Also, if you are benefiting from this course, let me tell you about something else you may benefit even more from. That's the Refocus 21 program. We've offered it several times already and it has been a huge hit. Women are loving the content there. It's now 21 days. It's all online. It used to be on social media. Now it's all online. You can do it all through my website at comparedtohu.me. So you get to interact with other women from literally all over the world as you improve your body image together. Now this course has content from me about body image, renewing your mind, taking thoughts captive, how to really win the war in your mind. But it also has content from my friend Erin Carey, who's an integrative nutrition coach. And she doesn't talk about dieting and food and all those things. Chances are, if you've been on as many diets as I have, you know about that stuff. You know about nutrition. You know about calories and macros and all the things. Instead, Erin talks about finding peace with food and how to create healthy habits around Around your food that don't necessarily have anything to do with creating food rules or eating this, not that, none of that stuff. No, instead she takes a completely revolutionary, I think, and holistic approach to how we deal with food. You are going to love the content. Like I said, it's 21 days long. It takes 21 days to kick a habit. I think that this course could change the future for you. So I hope you'll check it out. It's Refocus 21, starts May 17th. Go to compare to who.me, look for the coaching tab and find out more information. Now here's today's episode of the Spring Break Free. We're watching the Spring Break Free day 17. Today we're going to talk about your media. This is a touchy, touchy subject for some of us. You love your magazines. You love your television shows. You love your books. I get it. I was right there with you. There was no way I was giving up my shape magazine. No way. But let me tell you something that I did find to be true. I found that even though my media wasn't at the root of my body image issues, my media was affecting my body image issues. There's lots of studies out there to prove it. But today I just want to encourage you to actually believe it and take it seriously. One thing I like to do when I speak to groups is I like to ask this question. If your husband, for those of you who are married, was struggling with lust, would you buy him a subscription to Maxim or Playboy magazine for Christmas? And all the women kind of blush and laugh. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. Um, of course you wouldn't. Why? Because buying him that magazine would trigger thoughts for him that are neither what? Healthy nor holy. Two H's, healthy or holy. Right. So let me ask you, when you watch The Bachelor, oh, I know that hurts, I'm sorry. But when you watch The Bachelor and you see those 20 women parading around the hot tub in their bikinis, are your thoughts holy and healthy? Are your thoughts about how you look or how they look or are they edifying to your soul at all? I'm going to argue that they're probably not. When you look through those fashion magazines, how do you feel afterwards? Do you feel good? Do you feel praise God, glory, all glory to him? I, I'm ready to go do whatever he has for me. Or do you feel like I do after I've spent an hour reading a fashion magazine? I feel like I need to like go get liposuction and buy new clothes and find someone somewhere to give me an extreme makeover, right? They suck the life out of us, y'all. And it's self-inflicted wounds, right? I mean, no one forces you to watch those shows you watch. No one's forcing you to read those magazines you read, but yet we kind of like them and we think it's okay and we want to protect it. Well, friends, just if you're married, I hope you get this, but just as you would feel strongly about your husband not reading and watching pornography, I think you need to internalize this issue and take it just as seriously for yourself. If you are looking at things and reading things and watching things that do not cause thoughts that are holy or healthy for you, then you need to cut it off. You need to get serious about it. So today I'm just going to ask you to sit with that. Think about what you are consuming media-wise that's dragging you down. Psalm 119.37 says, Turn my eyes from worthless things and give me life in your ways. Y'all, this trash media is death. It's not like a little poison won't hurt you. A little poison will hurt you, friends. It will. 
So find life in his ways and think about tonight what media habits you might need to change in order to keep your body image freedom. Heather here. Can I ask a huge favor of you? If something in the show has touched your life, would you leave me a review on iTunes? Throughout the month of April, I'll be giving away two free hours of coaching with me to one person who leaves a review. Screenshot your review and then drop it to me in an email so I know you want to enter. If you've already reviewed the show, that's okay. You can still enter too. I'll give you five bonus entries if you post the screenshot of your review on Facebook or Instagram stories and tag me. Thank you so much for your consideration and for your help. 